Welcome back to Passionate About Tech. In this video, we're exploring how to set up Kali Linux inside VirtualBox, perfect for anyone interested in cybersecurity, ethical testing, or exploring advanced tools. We'll cover everything from preparing your system to full installation and optimizations. Let's jump in. Before we start with the installation, we need to make sure virtualization is enabled on your computer. This allows VirtualBox to create virtual environments efficiently. To check, right-click on the taskbar and select Task Manager. Switch to the Performance tab. Click on CPU. Look for the virtualization entry. If it says Enabled, you're all set. If it's disabled, you'll need to turn it on in your BIOS settings. Restart your PC and enter the BIOS by pressing the key specific to your model. On my Dell computer, it's F2. I suggest you search online for your computer model plus BIOS menu key to find the exact one, like Dell Inspiron 15 plus BIOS menu key. Once in BIOS, scroll to the Virtualization Support tab. Click on Virtualization, then enable it by selecting Enable Intel Virtualization Technology or the AMD equivalent. Click Apply, then Exit to save and reboot. That should get virtualization active. Even with virtualization enabled, sometimes Windows Hyper-V can cause conflicts with VirtualBox. To turn it off, open Command Prompt as Administrator, search for CMD in the Start menu, right-click, and choose Run as Administrator. Type the command bcd edit slash set hypervisor launch type off and hit Enter. Restart your PC afterward to apply the change. Now your system is ready for VirtualBox. Next, let's download and install VirtualBox itself. Open your web browser and head to virtualbox.org. Click on Downloads. Choose the host for your operating system. Windows hosts if you're on Windows, Mac OS hosts for Mac, or the Linux option if that's your setup. I'll select Windows Hosts, and the download for the latest version, say 7.2.4, will start. While that's going, we also need the VirtualBox extension pack for extra features like USB 3.0 support, shared clipboard, and improved overall speed. On the same page, click to accept the terms and download it. Once the files are ready, locate the VirtualBox setup in your Downloads folder. Double-click to launch the installer. Keep the default options and click Next through the prompts. Click Finish when it's done. Now for the extension pack. Open VirtualBox, click on the Extensions tab, then hit the plus icon to add a new one. Browse to your Downloads folder, select the extension pack file, and click Install. Scroll through the agreement, click I agree, and let it complete. VirtualBox is now fully equipped. With VirtualBox set up, it's time to grab the Kali Linux ISO. Go to kali.org slash git-kali in your browser. You'll see options for installer images or pre-built virtual machines. We're going with the installer image because it gives you full control. You can pick your desktop environment and select specific tools during setup. Click on the 64-bit installer ISO for the latest release. The download might take a bit since it's a large file, around 5 gigabytes, so be patient. Now that the ISO is downloaded, let's create a new virtual machine in VirtualBox. Open VirtualBox and click New. In the Name field, type Kali Linux. Leave the machine folder as default. Set OS to Linux. For OS distribution, choose Debian, then Debian 64-bit for OS version. Click on the Specify Virtual Hardware tab. Now, for memory allocation, the minimum is 2 gigabytes, but for solid performance, aim higher. Since my system has plenty of RAM, I'll set it to 8 gigabytes. But remember, don't go over half your total RAM to avoid slowing your main system. Next, for processors, assign at least two cores, but up to half your available ones. My PC has four cores, so I'll allocate two cores here for balance. Click Specify Virtual Hard Disk. For the hard disk, create a virtual one now. Set the size to at least 25 gigabytes, but 50 gigabytes is better if you have room for tools and files. 
Click Create. Your VM is basic now, but let's optimize the settings. Select the Kali Linux VM and click Settings. In general, under Features, set Shared Clipboard and Drag and Drop to Bidirectional for easy copying between host and guest. In Display, slide Video Memory to 128 megabytes max. Under Storage, click the empty optical drive, then the CD icon. Choose Choose a Disk File and select your Kali Linux ISO. In Network, stick with NAT for simple internet or switch to Bridged Adapter for a direct network IP. Click OK to save. We're ready to install. Select your Kali Linux VM and click Start. You'll see the boot menu. Choose Graphical Install and press Enter. Pick your language. Select your location. Choose your keyboard layout. It will configure the network automatically. Enter a host name for your machine, something simple. Leave the domain blank unless it's for a network setup. Set up your user. Enter a full name. Choose a username. Create a strong password and confirm it. For partitioning, go with Guided. Use entire disk for beginners. Select your virtual disk. Choose All Files in One Partition. Review and select Finish Partitioning and Write Changes to Disk. Confirm with Yes. The base install will begin. Expect 10 to 15 minutes. Once the base is in, select Software. For desktop, default XFCE is lightweight and great for VMs with limited resources. GNOME is more modern but needs at least 4 GB RAM. KDE is highly customizable, like Windows, but resource heavy. I'll stick with XFCE. Include other tools as needed. Then install the Drew Bootloader. Select Yes. Choose your virtual disk. Let it install. When complete, click Continue to reboot. At login, enter your username and password. You're in the desktop. For a better view, press right Control plus F to go full screen. Press it again to exit. Now, update everything. Open terminal. Type sudo apt update, double ampersand, sudo apt upgrade y, and hit enter. This command will be on screen. It fetches updates. Time varies by connection. Adjust display scale in settings to 1.25. It should work smoothly. That's it. You've got Kali Linux installed and optimized in VirtualBox, ready for exploration. Drop a comment on your experience, and I'll see you next time. Stay passionate about tech.